Hello, welcome back to Brando Sushi Left Noding. In this episode, I want to show you how to make a looping flag cloth simulation. So, the reason I'm using Babylon.js um, sandbox, and this is the result. So, this is a cloth simulation, it's around 100 frames animations, and you can see it's actually looping perfectly. And what I'm using here is uh, actually animated shape keys. <clears throat> and currently, it should work as AR if it's accepting the GLB and then can run the shape keys. It doesn't work on Adobe Aero or Apple AR USDZ yet, maybe next year. But you can already create this for 3D, so in Blender. Okay, so let's get started. So the theory is like this, if you have like some kind of closed simulations, you want a way to cache, mix and blend and offset the simulations in a way that it's gonna loop for the certain time. So yeah, so we, at first I was thinking to use Alembic and Alembic should actually be able uh, to blend um, simulations into a looping animations but uh i'll show it to you anyway the process currently i think blender alembic doesn't support um some kind of blending so first of all we need to create some kind of flag or cloth being blown by the wind simulations i will be uh, using a simple plane and let's see i will go to edit modes and just select the two vertices and then I will just quickly subdivide this simple and subdivide a couple of time hit apply if we go back to edit mode you can see it's still being selected um, create a vertex group and we're gonna go to edit mode and then assign it with a weight of one so save very quickly, save again, different version, and then we're going to turn this into a cloth. I'm going to go to this physics properties and then find a cloth. I'm using Blender 2.81, 2.82 will be faster, but this is more stable. So this is going to drop and first we want to attach the cloth so we're gonna go to under shapes there's a pin group and select our group so now the cloth is pin um, so we need to have some kind of force and we're gonna be using wind for now so by default this is the force and there's uh, this yellow arrow that you can pull this is, I believe, for the strength. Um, as long as, as soon as I release this, I think it's gonna disappear. But yeah, oh no, it's still there. Okay, cool. I'm gonna rotate this like that. And this guy is actually need to be stronger, depending on your cloth. Okay, my cloth is quite heavy, and the size of my cloth is. 2 by 2 meters, so it's pretty large cloth, so the wind needs to be really strong, make it 10,000, <clears> make it flowing, add a bit of noise, so now the cloth is blowing the flag strongly, well I should perhaps reduce the number of the subdivision of this cloth actually, um, so let me just decimate it, unsubdivide it twice, hit apply. Okay, now it's a bit faster. And the strength of this, uh, I'm gonna reduce it to 5000. Too strong still. Okay, 1000. Okay, now it's a uh, it's blowing uh, and it's uh, actually should be good enough uh, for our what we are trying to do. I will make this like 
around 300 and yeah and I can smooth this okay so that's a uh, that's not bad it's not a flag but it's like it's close simulation that's being blown by the wind and we want to to be able to loop this so when it ends um, it's gonna loop back to the first frame so how do we do that um, like I said we in theory we should be able to use alembic and then try to kind of mix it together using NLA but we don't I don't think we have that yet in blender so I'm gonna be using MDD so let's export MDD the, the reason being because when you load MDD back into blender it's gonna be using the mesh cache and that actually have a way to do some kind of blending so let's do this export select your mesh export as MDD and let's just save it like that 24 frame per second 300 should we include the rest frame maybe we don't need to worry about that so just export it so 300 frames 24 frames per second hopefully it doesn't take too long just wait for a few seconds okay it's done so, but we have like the default mesh at the beginning. So we're gonna export this as OBJ selection only. Cool. All right. Now let's. This is. Uh, I'll open a new Blender. I'm gonna select all, delete everything, file, import, OBJ. We're gonna grab our OBJ this guy make sure this is keep vertex order is turned on import obj so we have the default cloth file with the objects selected file import mdd cache and once again once again go to desktop get our mdd import mdd and hopefully this recreate our animations and this guy should be by default is 300 frame right i'll just set it to 400 okay we have our clothes i mean animating seems like upside down or something but that's okay it's okay this is not bad we can rotate it so let's save this as something looping clause this is actually stage two so there's a couple of steps the reason I'm using MDD and cache because now this guy is now a shape keys animations right oh it's actually only running up to 250 okay that's interesting it's all right and that animations if you look under shape keys is really just a shape keys animations and for every frame it's gonna switch between zero and one so that's kind of cool and then we go to nonlinear animations and we can collapse we can actually collapse these animations into a single stripes that we can blend all right so that's one so, so that's the key here and the next step we want to do is to do some kind of blending so we're gonna actually we're gonna try to find uh, the start and the end of our animations that we're gonna loop so I'm gonna pick the easier way is to get the just the center and then kind of loop that but uh, you don't actually need to do that to do that um, let me duplicate this so I just shift D and then duplicate the stripes. So, and I'm gonna offset this somewhere around the middle, somewhere around there. So the idea here is that um, we have two of the same animations and we want to blend them so that um, the, start, the start of these animations is the same as the start of this animation. So, Whatever we offset over here, we're gonna actually offset it the same number over here. Okay, so 
it takes a while to understand this, but once you get it, you get it. So it took me actually a couple of time until I totally get it. Um, so somewhere around here, this frame is exactly the same as this guy over here. So I can actually, I should actually shift it a little bit more. So this is going to be the start of our flag animations. I mean, maybe I will pick something that's a little bit more random. Yeah, okay, that's okay. So that's the start and I don't know about the offset etc yet. I'll, I can use my eyes actually just to match it. But anyway, these stripes has to be combined and we gonna enable auto blend in and out at some point and for now we're gonna try to match the the cloth first and one trick um, actually if you want to eyeball it uh, I'm gonna duplicate this cloth right actually um, duplicate and apply I'm gonna export this as obj call this like reference select it only and then I'm gonna delete it and then I'm gonna import back that reference object so this is actually just to to bake that cloth in a way so so when you see this it's actually matching so this is the reference objects right and we want the same at the very end over here we want to match that guy so we're gonna hide um, actually not hiding we're gonna offset the second animations until it's matching there you go you got a match it's really that easy and then you delete the original reference so the ending here at 238 238 is actually matching the one at zero so now we actually have a looping animations except that there's a pop right and in order to get rid of that pop we need we just need to enable the, um enable this auto blend and in and out so this guy on the top is gonna blend to the second one and at the last frame over here this frame is matching the first frame it's really actually that simple yeah so now we have a looping cloth animations and at this point you can actually bake it out as MDD once again and then export it as JLB um, so yeah the last frame since the last frame is actually the same you probably want to just save it one frame less so two three seven so now we don't have like a pop it should be like perfectly matching file save as and then you have actually a little bit of flexibility on this um, if i'm not wrong you can still just kind of offset this but uh, not, I'm not gonna do that now so we already have a perfect cloth so so once again file export obj or oh, we actually have the obj already the reference so we, gen we just need to export this as mdd once again and this one save it as loop uh frame is correct export mdd file new so now this is stage three kind of like uh to test our loop file import obj and grab our reference object once again keep vertex order that should be on get our reference cloth select our objects make sure it's yellow file import mdd and grab our mdd from the desktop 
grab the one that's looping and if everything works correctly the last frame should be perfectly looping oh yeah there might be a pop there that so we don't need that frame zero actually should get rid of that so delete a keyframe and delete the last frame two three seven okay so good that's working file save as close loop uh, we actually it's better to name it properly this is so this is like stage number three so there's a couple of process but once you get this it's actually a complete result and you can actually um, rotate this if you like rotate it 90 degree I mean the, the close simulation simulation itself can be better but you get the idea on how to do a looping now and you can uh, you can export this as GLB uh, if you give it a proper material um, let's have like a flag material and then give it a image texture and our flag is actually square um, at this moment um, let's see do I have any good texture ah okay <laughs> it's actually kind of fun I mean if, if it's looking like that thanks to you thanks to the UV we can simply rotate it um, go to UV editor select our plane hit edit uh, hit tab to go to edit mode and simply rotate this 90 degrees or something that's it there's a let's also scale this in Y so there's a quick and dirty way to fix this I mean like I said the flag normally it's not square maybe from the very beginning we don't make it square but square is simpler to to work with okay so that's a uh, our looping flag and this actually can export as glb it doesn't export as csdz because it doesn't support shape keys yet but i know another trick where we are actually using we're using bones for the flag simulations for so for every vertices uh, we are using bones and then we we bake it as a bones and so we can do the same thing it's just another process but basically we need to make it looping first and then convert the vertices every vertices as a bones and then reskin and then it should work so desktop looping close this is the one that we have we can oops i have two blender that's why it's a bit slow command q delete so gltf viewer you can use Z, uh, GLTF viewer from Don McCarty, the, the guy who works at Google, or you can use Babylon. So this one actually works, and you can see the animations. Playback speed can be set to two. Oh, cannot be. Okay. You see, it's using morph, and it's actually animating the morph for each frame. Babylon sandbox is actually nicer so some AR platform allows these animations already all right so this is how you create a loop from simulations like cloth there are many other ways this is one way to do it but the, the idea is the same so you have like offset of the animation and you, you're blending um, at certain frames so it's looping Okay, hopefully this is useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.